So does that mean that no one will be persecuted for this violence? It, of course, people, or even though I believe that people will be called to account okay. later for whatever they are doing now. But the most important thing is concerted effort to make sure because people that have been raped, children that have been destroyed, I mean, even when you punish those who did it, they don't come back. So efforts, the international community, the regional powers should come together and really make sure that this matter is resolved. Okay, let's go back to UNICEF now. UNICEF says only 44% of it, 57 million appeal for funds for 2018, has been met as at the end of October. What does this mean for the welfare of the children? Well, it's unfortunate because um, well, there, is some, there seems to be a bit of down of fatigue, so many conflicts, especially around Africa and um, the same donors, and then some of the donors are getting tired of donating, um, and then people are looking more of inwards. But there are, I mean, most of the European countries are having uh, immigration crisis, America too even, so a lot of those who usually run quickly to donate to this are beginning to hold back. But then, you know, it means that these children cannot get the help they need. However, what the most important thing is to try to stop this conflict because over time we, Africa should may, may likely be on their own. Mm -hmm. So Africans should help do a lot to control this uh, conflict, to make sure that this problem don't arise because you know um, for what is happening now, you know the, the nations, especially the, if the Europeans cannot do it, African countries should come together and render help. To this to the this country uh, well, has been in chaos since 2013, and I think you've touched on this, but what do you think can be done to put an end to this crisis? In turn, rebuild the, the, the trust in the first place. Then, rebuild state institutions. Rebuild security institutions. Because as of now, there's no sec sec central security authority, I mean, authority that controls security, whatever, whatever I do, and then that nobody is responsible for anything. If there will be a single army which incorporates the, 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 uh, the Muslims in the north, the, the, the rest of the country, and every, every segment of that country is involved, and they see it as a national army, not an army that belongs to a group that we're likely going to oppress us, and them, I mean, if you review that, then they can enforce evenly security in every aspect, in all parts of the country. It's a priority. Then we have to attack poverty. We have to attack also nepotism. Nepotism, even government policies. Let the, if you win, there's not. It's not a matter of a winner takes it all. Maybe if the this segment of the country wins today, next time is oh, it is our turn, and they start our turn to do whatever we like with those we hate and those we love, that we mean that, I mean, the crisis will continue into the foreseeable future. African Affairs Analyst, Dr. Okwe Okwala, it's always a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you for joining us on Network Africa. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Moving on now, to mark World AIDS Day on Saturday, December the 1st, Rwanda's health ministry is holding a campaign to give out free self-testing kits to raise awareness. The kit is on sale in the country, allowing people to test for the virus at home and get a result in a matter of minutes. People in Rwanda can now buy a test kit for HIV in local pharmacies, which promises to provide a result within 15 to 20 minutes. A single-use device or a quick requires the user to swab the upper and lower gum for a saliva sample. The swab is then placed in a solution which allows the test reactions to develop. Results are produced within 20 minutes and unlike blood tests kit, Oroquik can be read at home by the user. According to manufacturers, the Oroquik in-home HIV test, which looks for the virus in saliva rather than in blood, has a 99.7% accuracy rate. It is one way make sure that people have access to HIV tests, testing. And uh, as we know that uh, HIV testing is an uh, entry point to the HIV prevention in general, and it is an entry point for long-term HIV care and treatment. So we find it necessary to make sure that the test is accessible and people, they know their HIV status, so they can take appropriate strategies according to their uh, 
Health officials hope that the self-test kit, which is available in pharmacies countrywide, will encourage more people to test themselves. According to the ministry, the HIV AIDS prevalence rate amongst the general population aged 15 to 49 has been at 3% for the past decade. The reception has been positive amongst recipients, with some saying that the self-testing kit will help combat stigma attached to HIV testing. I really like this kit because you can test yourself and know your status, and it will even give people courage to go to hospital to find out more. The kit currently retails at five US dollars in pharmacies, a cost that may be too high for many in a country where more than 60% live below the poverty line. I'd say that Oracle is good, is, is an interesting tool. Uh, we're still uh, concerned with the access cost. If uh, the test at, at, the, at the factory is accessed at $2 for public programs, $4 for uh, non-public or private, uh, to me, uh, looking at who needs it is still uh, a, a major barrier to, to scale. Uh, probably keep discussing with, with the manufacturers and also the programs and funders how we can do better on access part of it. Some have criticized the self-test kits, saying that those receiving a positive diagnosis at home would not have access to the same counseling and support offered in clinics. However, despite such concerns, several African countries have embraced the self-kit, including South Africa, Malawi and Kenya, amongst others. Still to come on the program, our Africa Tech segment takes a look at the benefits of introducing technology to children in the early stages of life. Please stay with us.